Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. It's, you know, um, you should always take the time to tell the people around you that are close to you that you love them. Always find a time to hug your family. Find a time to love your family because you just never know. You just never know. You never know when they're gonna be taken away from you. You never know when you're gonna lose the one you love. And I know this show is not about this kind of a topic. I know we're gonna talk about dark circles today, but it's a very, very emotional day. You guys, you watch me on this channel, you actually become a part of me. You feel like you know me. And that's just the way the world is. There are people out there that you might not know personally, but you feel like you have a connection. You idolize them. You put them on a pedestal. You, you cheer them as they go along. And one such person for me was Kobe Bryant. And I don't know this person, but I've watched him for years. And it's a very sad, and some of you might not know who he is. He is actually a basketball player playing over 20 years with the Lakers, very famous and a very good basketball player. And today we learned that he had passed in a helicopter. Um, not only that, the news is that is a first child was also with him. And that's very sad news. And it just like, just tear me apart, you know, I, it's just tear me apart. But he also wake me up to know that things can happen just like that. I'm really sorry, guys, we are gonna talk about um, dark circle, but I have to get this off my chest. I'm human, I have emotions too, and I feel things just as everyone else. And I'm feeling sad today, so. You know, I'm not here to make anyone sad. I'm just a little shaken up, you know. Things happen really sad, but um, love your family, you know. Love your family. Hug your family. Kiss your children. Just stop with the nonsense, okay? I know sometimes people are going to hurt your feelings. Sometimes you're going to feel like you just want to run away from everybody, but you just never know. Every time you leave the house, let someone know you're leaving. Every time you are around your loved one, let them know that you love them because you don't want to wait until, you know, the day you get a news like, this person is no longer here and then you're going to live in regret not saying hello i love you i love you i love you so i'm all right now i get it off my chest and we're going to talk about dark circles eye bags puffy eyes and all of that i mean the show must go on so and i as i said for a lot of you you have no idea who i'm talking about and i don't want to let this show be all about this but Yes, it's a sad day. All right, so rest in peace, Kobe. So let's move on, guys. We are going to talk. How are you all doing? It's Sunday. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. If this is your first time joining us, um, welcome, welcome, welcome on Sunday Chit Chat. We talk about the topic. We interact with each other. Hello, Lucy. How are you doing? Hello, Jason. How are you? And we just, you know, chit chat. And sometimes we tend to just talk about a situation like I started the show with. I hope you're still here and I hope it didn't turn you guys off, but it's, it's how I am feeling today. And you guys are always here for me. So if I'm a little emotional, then you know, 
who else am I to share it with but you guys? So do you suffer from dark circle and iPad? I know a lot of you do because the email is just loaded with email asking, what can I use? What can I use? What can I use? So I know the issue is there. So what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to give you like about 10 or more, you know me, it's going to be more than 10 natural ingredients that you can use to help to clear up the dark circles, the eye bags, and the puffy eyes. I'm also going to show you or share with you how you could mix some of these ingredients together to make a facial uh, uh, under eye cream or under eye serum or just an under eye applicator that you can just use, you know, moisturizer that you can just use under your eyes to help to clear it up. I also post a video, guys. Um, I think it was posted yesterday. And you guys, if you have not watched that video, you need to go and take a look at it. I also put it in the description box below. The link is there where I use um, some, you know, natural ingredient to make a dark circle remover. It is an amazing combination of ingredient. Not only that, it is just an amazing dark circle puffy eyes remover. I use it. I use it after this morning and I am so blown away with it. It is such a fast, effective remedy that if you have not seen it, as I said, go look at it and give it a try. And I also gave you substitute that you can use to mix and match the ingredient to create your own, just basically to make it your own. So. With that said, let's do our regular shout out and then we're going to dive into the ingredient. I have so many listed for you today. Hello, Karen McDowell. How are you? Jill Duchess, Magdalene. How are you? We also have Selma Khan. Um, when we have Taryn, hello Taryn, how are you? And we also have Dolores St. Catherine, Inga K, hello Inga K, Fiola, Charles, no, you're not late, you're basically right on time. And we have Mohammed um, Ruslan, how are you? I love you right black, back. And we have Fly Birdie, how are you, Fly Birdie? I like that, um, and the Fly Birdie. Now we also, I have Keisha Roy. I know Keisha is there waiting on her gift. Those gifts, for those of you who enter for the holiday drawing, the gifts are going to be posted out next week. So take a look at your, your delivery and, you know, hopefully you'll get it within a few days after they are posted. Hello, Edith, how are you? And we also have Nazar. We have Patricia Peak. And just to name a few, Cindy John. Now, the ver um, why do we get dark circles? There, are, I have to say this part, guys. There are many ways in which people could get dark circles and puffy eyes and eye bags, just the puffiness. The, you know, some people get it because it's hereditary. A lot of family members have it, then you end up with it. While some people get it because lack of sleep. Some people get it because of stress. Some people get it because of and under um underlying illnesses but many many different reasons but regardless of how you get dark under eye circles or puffy eye bags they are remedies natural remedies that has proven to be very effective in removing those dark circles now if you are no new, you might know, not know that I do suffer from dark on the eye circles and I use my natural remedies to treat it. And whenever it goes away, I might slow down. And if it come back, then I might, you know, continue. Now, the very first ingredient that we're going to talk about for dark circle, which some of you already know and some might not know is uh, milk. Okay, now when I said milk, milk is going to come in the form of milk. It's also going to come in the form of yogurt. It's also going to come in the form of sour cream, every cream, any one of those. They are all byproduct of milk, and therefore you could use any one of those on your dog circles. Now, personally for me, I like to mix the milk with other ingredient. But did you know that you can actually take uh, cotton pads, those little round ones, soak it in some milk, 
put it in your well the milk is always in the fridge anyway so it's going to be cold so cold milk dip those cotton pads in it and put it over your eyes for a couple of minutes you can actually do that and it's going to help to get rid of the puffy eyes and that one you're going to see result almost you know, instantly, not instant, but let's say within the next 10 to 15 minutes, you definitely will see a huge difference in the in the puffiness and the eye bags once you use the cold milk on your eyes. You can actually you do the same with yogurt. You can saturate a cotton pad, make sure it's very cold, place it over your eyes, and it's going to help to eliminate the puffy eyes. Now, when it comes on to the dark on the eye circles, you're going to use that cold milk, yogurt, or sour cream, or every cream. You are going to tip a little bit of a vitamin E oil in it, and you are going to place it on under your eyes. I recently discovered some nice little cotton on the eye circles and i think i list them under the video that i'm sending you guys to watch after this they are amazing or you could actually make your own re reusable ones just take a piece of cotton cloth cut it in a nice little square and then you soak whatever you're soaking for your under eyes in it and use it over your eyes. Now, when you mix that milk with a little vitamin E oil and you soak your little cotton sheet, if you don't have cotton sheet, just dab it under your eyes, just dabba, 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 dabba. But if you have those little pads, I find that they work really, really, really well. So what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, okay? These are actually dark um, circles remover. But what I'm talking about is like these little squares, you could actually cut them out of cotton cloth for yourself. And when you make your homemade remedies, you dip these little squares in it and use it under your eyes. Worth the, to, to the time to spend to make them because then the product will stay under your eyes much longer. Amazing, amazing, amazing to use under your eyes. So that is milk and further along, we're going to mix and match more ingredients for you. Now, the next ingredient that I'm going to talk about is green tea. And I'm talking, you know, giving you the, the regular ones at the top of the hour. And then we're going to dive into some that you might not be aware of that is good for your under eyes. Now, how do you use green tea for dark circles? Pretty easy. When I mentioned green tea, I'm talking about green tea and I'm also talking about matcha powder. Personally, for me, I tend to use a lot of matcha powder these days, but I know some of you don't have access to the matcha powder. If I made a recipe and I use matcha powder, use your green tea, but blend the green tea to a powder, okay? And you're going to get amazing results. The matcha is really a little different from the green tea. It is green tea, but it's in a more concentrated farm so nowadays if you could get the matcha use it over the green tea no matcha go ahead and use your green tea if you're using the green tea powder you can actually mix that green tea powder in the milk that i just mentioned or you could just take a little bit of a water mix it out into a nice you know um liquid and dip those same little cotton pads in there or dip uh, some the round circle cotton pads, soak it up nice and cold. Everything you use under your eyes, you get better result if it's cold. Even if you buy your store-bought creams or serum for your under eyes and you keep them in the refrigerator, you will reap better benefit from them because the coldness is gonna help the under eyes to look amazing. So the green tea, you mix it with water or you mix it with some milk and you just, apply it on the, your under eyes. Really, really good. Now you can also mix green tea with many of the other ingredients that I'm going to mention. If you have a question, feel free to ask. Nazi, no, you are not late. Lisa, I should, I've been suffering from dark circles for a while now. Thanks for the info. So Lisa and just listen carefully because there's so many remedies out there that you can use and you could mix and match and just make yourself something for the dog on the eye circles. These that I chose today are those that I have tried. I've made videos with them and a lot of people have been using them and, you know, coming back with really, really good um, feedbacks about these remedies. Thank you, Lucy. And um. Shh, 
Um, oh, me. Okay, so lack of sleep, lack of sleep. That's on the list too, and we're going to get to there. Yes, lack of sleep. All right, so Alexa D, I am scared of the gel under, under eye patches. What are some of those chemical in them? And that is why this um, that I showed you, I'm not telling you, this one is actually all natural, which I featured this on my channel before. So what I'm trying to tell you to do is to just make your own personal little square like this out of, let's say, cotton cloth, okay? They have a lot of materials that you can use. You can use like an old marina or an old t-shirt, cut these little squares out for yourself. And those are the squares that you're going to soak in the remedies that I'm sharing with you today or the remedies that is on my channel. Those that I mentioned for you to use like the cotton pads over your eyes, you can use your own little cutout square, um, you know, and use it for your on the eyes. So we are moving on to potatoes. And that is one that you're going to see everywhere. We're talking about Irish potato. You're going to see it everywhere. You're going to see it a lot on my channel. I use it a lot. And it's a reason for that. It do help to clear the dark on the eye circles. As a matter of fact, in all the time that I'm making videos and I'm also trying dark on the eye circles remedies, there are a couple of ingredients that I could basically close my eyes and tell you guys that if you use it on a regular, you're going to get results. No joke result. And potato is one of them. The cold potato. You can actually just slice it Put it in your, for puffy eyes, guys, listen up. Slice it, put it in the refrigerator, let it chill, and just use it to rub under your eyes. You can grate it, juice it, and just chill the juice. Soak it up with those little cotton pads. Put it over your eyes. You're going to get tremendous result. You can also go as far as using the potato starch. Get that potato starch. Put some vitamin E oil in it. Dab it under your eyes and leave it there. You're going to reap amazing result. That is one ingredient that... I basically could swear by that really helped with the dark on the eye circles. Hands down, no joke, in the list of my top five natural ingredients to use for dark on the eye circles. And who else could sit, come out and, you know, said that they're going to actually endorse the potato? I do because I tried so many other natural products, natural ingredient for the under eyes. And the fact that I try so many and also share with millions of people and get so much feedback on the potato, I can testify that it do work. So don't throw out your potato, use it the way I just mentioned, slice it, juice it. Or if you want to be adventurous, try some of the natural remedies that I share on this channel using the potato for your dark under eye circles. Really, really amazing. Cheryl, I you. this is my second live video with you. I am having great results. Love your show. Love you. Thank you. And thank you so much and welcome and welcome back. Okay. So we have um, Cindy John, have dark circles and wrinkles can go. And Cindy John, you need to try some of the remedies that I post on the channel. Now, if you see a remedy that is very, very popular, then read the comments because you're going to see that it do works. Just play around with some of these ingredients or those video that I personally endorse the ingredients, just give it a go and you will, you know, have your result. Now we are moving on and we're going to talk about another ingredient that we all know that it have to, to, um, to get rid of puffy eyes and eye bags. We know it's good for tired eyes and that is the cucumber. I like to use the cucumber, but as you know, I like to put a twist to the cucumber. So when you are looking for fast result for the dark on the eye circles, a very good mix is cucumber with potato. And the video I post, or is it not yet there? We do have a cucumber and potato combined. Very, very unique. You really need to see that video, guys. When you're done, you're going to go watch it because it's not only that I want you to watch it, I want you to try that remedy because I use it, I shared it, and 
it was like instant result, no joke, okay? So you're gonna use cucumber for your puffy eyes, your eye bags, and you're gonna mix it with the potato juice to help to get rid of the dark on the eye circles. Now here it comes, and this is one a mixture that I am not sure if I posted on my channel, but I did try it and it's amazing. It is that same cucumber juice and you're gonna use it with a little bit of a turmeric. Now, when you mix the turmeric with the cucumber, you're not gonna let the turmeric overpower just a little, let's say like a quarter cup of cucumber juice with a, a dash of um, turmeric powder, preferably blend it together, okay? You could use a whisk and whisk it, but I find that when I put that in the blender and I blend it and shake it up, put it in the refrigerator, chill it, and use it under your eyes, it's gonna get rid of the eye bags and the puffy eyes and the turmeric powder is gonna help. The turmeric is gonna help to clear the eyes of the dark circles. Really an amazing combination of ingredients. You do not want to not try that one, especially for those of you with the puffy eyes and the eye bags. It's an amazing, quick and easy, as quick and easy as it can get and a very, very effective way for fast result for puffy eyes. No joke. It's going to take a little longer for the eye bags and for the dark circles. But when it comes onto the puffy eyes, that's like it said, you want to go somewhere and you notice the puffy eyes, you didn't sleep well, use that remedy and you are going to be blown away. Within an hour you are good to go all right so play around guys play around very uh, very important um 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 nazi i'm using your last remedy for puffy under eye and darkness it is working like magic and which of them are you using nazi because guess what as you can see guys people are using these remedies when it comes on to dark under eye circles and eye bags i like to talk about it because what i use is what i shared with you guys i don't go out there and i don't buy like a a serum for my dark on the eyes or a moisturizer for my dark on the eyes i use my own i make my own i share them with you i have a an amazing blend of oils that i use under my eyes and i actually have the video on my channel sometimes i mix ingredient together all oils and you know i have this rice um serum that i make for myself and i mix it with my you know special oils for my dark under eyes and that is what i use i use nothing else the same thing i shared guys is the same thing i'm using and i'm seeing amazing results sandra levy the mayor treatment for the um um, the eye bags is amazing. And that is the video that I'm telling them to go watch Sandra. I'm telling them to go watch it and try it because they're going to see instant result. It is like a no joke. I posted the video yesterday and a lot of you guys have not yet seen it. You guys need to go watch it, try it, use it and share the video because I'm so proud of it because I see instant result and i actually show you i might have messed the thumbnail up because i should have just posted my picture alone on the thumbnail i'm not gonna change it however the thumbnail was just for demonstration but it is such an amazing and not only that you know what if you get adventurous and use the entire thing on your face you are gonna come back and say wait a minute is this for dark on the eye circles or is this for the entire face it's really a good combination guys you don't want to miss it so watch the video when you're done all right very very good that's what i'm using and it is amazing. All right, guys. So we're moving on. Another ingredient that you can use for the dark circle, and this one is mostly for the dark circles, is a tomato. I've not used tomato on the channel for a while, but tomato is amazing for clearing your dark on the eye circles. Okay. Now you can mix that tomato juice with some cucumber and to get the double whammy. And I'm just basically teaching you how to mix ingredient together. Okay. Because something might work for one, like the tomato might work for the dark on the eye circle, but it might not necessarily work for the puffy eyes on the eye bag. So if you wanted the one remedy, Remedy to do both. What do you do? You find an ingredient that is compatible with the one you're using that is going to help to take care of the eye bags. You mix them together and you create a double whammy. So mixing that cucumber with that tomato 
with a little vitamin E oil, blend that together, soak up your cotton pads and put it over your eyes. Amazing result. The, the potato, blah, 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 blah. the tomato do contain um, um, natural skin lightening properties. Light, lipopene is one ingredient in the tomato and that is what helped to clear the skin. Not only your dark under eyes, but your entire skin. If you are looking to clear it from the spots, the blemishes, the scratches, you name it, the tomato will help. Just think about this one also. Mix in the tomato juice with some potato juice and put a little vitamin E oil, use it. That is going to help to clear because that's a double whammy in getting lightening and brightening their skin especially the dark on the eye circle. All right, so Lori Wright, hello, lovely lady, hello. And um, Asan, I have dark on the eye circles. Asan, you need to watch the video that I post on the channel page, but you can actually listen and make other remedies yourself. I also put the link to the playlist of all the dark circles, eye bags and puffy eyes, the serum moisturizer that I make on the channel. They're in a playlist, which I link the playlist underneath this video. So you could actually click on it and you're going to see all the videos um, that geared towards dark on the eye circle. Now we have um, Sue, Sue Kiwi, um, Okro, um, Ki Okro, Chichi from Kiwi Land. Oh, your Sunday. I love your channel. I've been into natural stuff for years, and you are cool and so down to earth with your viewers. Thanks for sharing with us, and thank you for watching. And you are so welcome. And now we have our little, um, all the green, um, heart. You know yourself, and I think this is. Um, I'm not sure if it's indie you're writing in, whatever it is. Welcome and thank you for all those uh, beautiful green art. And we also have Barbara um, um, Shepard. How are you doing? Now we are moving on. Lucy Chichi said, mix your oils. Example, if you have coconut oil and vitamin E, mix the two. Yes, definitely mix your oils. Mix your oils for best results. Patricia. Hello, Patricia. How are you? How is it they out there in Guyana? And um, good afternoon to you, all the subscribers on the show. All right. Your skin is looking beautiful. No, do have any home remedy for sunburn on my face and cheek? Yes, for sunburn, use the natural aloe vera. If you have an aloe vera leaf, blend it up. You could add a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of an almond oil to it and use it and just spot treat your cheeks where you have the sunburn amazing result no joke if you do i prefer the natural aloe vera for this one but if you don't have the natural leaf just get the store-bought aloe vera gel i'm a little skeptical when it comes on to the aloe vera gel that is really jelly because that's the process. The one that I use, if you could see, that is more liquidy because that is the natural aloe vera itself without all of the preservative and all of that stuff that they use. So be mindful of the aloe vera gel you buy. But if you have the natural leaf, just cut it, blend it, scrape out the gel, blend it with a little oil in it and use it for your sunburn. All right, we're moving on. And I should have grouped the remedies. I should have, you know, separate the oils from um, so I'm going to skip oil and just move on. Now, guys, we have rose water. And that has been something that has been around for generation to generation to generation. Rose water is going to be around and rose water is going nowhere. Definitely nowhere. Tested, proven, try for hydrating the skin, for cleaning the skin, for doing just amazing things to the skin. Now, I personally don't use rose water directly on my skin for dark circles or eye bags because I know there's so many other things to mix the rose water with. However, it is a vital part of most of the remedies that you're going to make at home for the dark circles and the, you know, the puffy eyes. Now, mix some cucumber juice with some rose water with a little bit of a turmeric in it and use that under your eyes. Amazing. 
every single remedy that I put on this channel or that I shared with you, you can actually add rose water to it. No joke. Or if you are all fun and game, guess what is good? Like really, really good, but don't let it get in your eyes. Get some lemon juice and had some rose water to it, zest the lemon and put a little bit of the lemon zest. If you don't have lemon, go ahead with the lime and use it under your eyes. Puffy eyes, people, droopy eyes. This is just an amazing, quick and easy remedy for you. As I said, just don't let it get in your eyes, but you're gonna be blown away. For those of you who wake up with that eye bag, tired you fight with your significant other the night before so you can't sleep you're twisting and turning in the bed guess what mix the rose water with a little lemon juice or lime juice put it under your eyes leave it there for about 15 minutes rinse it off and just look in the mirror like this and you're gonna be like what no joke quick 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 easy all right so and there you have it. I'm giving you guys a lot of remedies today, a lot of mix and match. All right. So you, Lucy just, you know, um, gave you the remedy that I just saw. At least now you have it written. So definitely take a look at that. Now we have, um, we have, I'm just trying to find Chris Cola, blend the root or use the powder. And I'm thinking that you're probably talking about the turmeric. Um, I just assuming because I didn't see, um, probably you're talking about the potato cream. Just let me know if it's a turmeric and you have the fresh turmeric root, the more the merry. I recently went to the, my green grocery and they have the fresh turmeric and I was like, oh, fresh turmeric. So I bought myself a whole bag of fresh turmeric. So you're might, you're going to see some videos using the fresh turmeric. So for those of you who have fresh turmeric, go ahead, use the fresh turmeric. If you're somewhere where you have no access to the fresh turmeric, go ahead and use the turmeric powder. Amazing for many different things on the skin inside and outside. All right, guys, we are moving on. And the fact that I group all, I know I probably already at 10, we mentioned cucumber, we mentioned turmeric, we mentioned milk, we mentioned potato, green tea, tomato, rose water, um, cucumber, lemon, and okay, so we're moving on. I'm gonna give you a set of oils that are best for dark on the eye circles. And that's what I was talking about that I probably should have grouped stuff. Now for me, my favorite oil for dark circle is one of my special oil. And that is hands down the cake oil, okay? Very, very pricey depending on where you live. So cake oil is good and the rose hip oil is good. However, for a wider variety of oil, I'm going to give you my top five. Vitamin E oil, hands down. Can't go wrong with the vitamin E oil. It's going to help tremendously. Can't go wrong. If you have to get one oil in your oil collection for your skin, make it be vitamin E oil. Okay? Now, the, my second oil would be the rosehip oil. Rosehip oil, hands down, good for dark circle. Another oil that we tend to overlook that is amazing for dark circles is almond oil. Almond oil all the way, the sweet almond oil, no joke. I just mentioned the cake oil. I know a lot of you don't have access to the cake oil, but I found out that re depending on where you are, you can actually get cake oil. Some people get it cheap. Some people have to pay a good penny for it. The next oil that is amazing is coconut oil. So if I have to choose five oils for dark and the eyes circles, those are the five oils that I would choose. The rosy oil, the vitamin E oil, the cake oil, the sweet almond oil, and the coconut oil. Hands down, my five favorite. Now, how do I use those? I mix all together. That's how I come up with my oil, oil blend. The ones, the oils that are good, I mix them all together. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and mix all these oils together. If you only have one or you only have two, you can go ahead and mix it like that. But I blend everything up together. The rice dark circle cream that I'm using right now, I, you know, 
I'll make a rice paste and I'll show you how I make the rice paste. I probably should make that video for you guys. And then I add all these oils to that rice paste. I blend it up and create a moisturizer for my dog on the eyes. Why did I use rice? Because rice have properties that will help to tighten and firm the skin. And also when mixed with the other ingredient is going to help to get rid of the dog on the eye circles and tested and proven. And they have so many eye end products out there, guys, with rice really and truly high end products using rice. So when we make these homemade remedies using rice, don't frown on it, okay? Because if you have a lot of box and you go out there, some of the very expensive res remedies, not remedies, products that you are buying might contain rice. For years, even way before I start my YouTube channel, I was so into this brand and they make a lot of high end you know, facial creams and serums and all of that using the black rice, like really and truly nice, really, really good. And I realized that, hey, it's rice. You are spending X amount of money on rice. So I find a way to make my own. So I like to use rice on my skin and I share a lot of rice recipe with you guys for a reason. So some of you who might not be aware of what goes on in the skincare world, worldwide out there you might not realize that some of the stuff that i shared with you are stuff that some people have to pay a lot of money for and no joke and i'm not even blinking when i'm saying this because it's the truth now i do a lot of research when it comes down to skincare because i'm not only interested in making natural remedies i'm interested in knowing what people are using to make the products that they're putting on the market so i do research way beyond this and when i when you watch my let's talk skincare with chichi beauty on a friday you would get a better insight of some of the ingredients that they are using in products out there i have sensitive skin so i look watch try without the preservative or without the, the 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 additives and the chemicals that's all i do i make things for myself and i share them with you i'm not here sharing with you things and then i'm behind the scene i'm using all these fancy stuff absolutely no i make them for myself because i need it for my skin since i have sensitive skin and some of you might be like how could you have sensitive skin when you try so many things what a lot of you are not aware of that most of the times when you use a product Products, most of the times, not all the time, when you use a product and you have a reaction to it, or it might burn your skin. I get burned like really, really, really fast. No joke. About um, a month ago, my skin was burned and I actually expressed it with some of you guys just trying something on my skin. So what you don't realize is that the burn are normally due because of the chemical that is used in the products. And when that happened, that's what caused the reaction. If you take the same ingredient minus the chemical minus the preservative and use it you will reap amazing result not to 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 say things out there is not good things out there is good the the containers are so nice and everything but you got to be mindful if you have sensitive skin like i do okay so that is how we play around with stuff well, I play around with stuff for my skin to basically to protect my skin. And nowadays you could find so, so, so many products out there that are going all natural. Watch Select Stock Skincare with Chichi Beauty and you'll get more information about all these wonderful natural oils and remedies and products that they're using in the skincare world market not only you know on my channel all right so we talk about all the oils now there is one we're going to talk about vitamins now guys vitamins are great for your face, your skin on a whole. We have different kinds of vitamins that sometimes we use them for different purposes. Now, when it comes down to vitamin C, we use a lot of vitamin C because vitamin C is an antioxidant that will help to lighten and brighten the skin to have your skin looking clear. We use vitamin A a lot because vitamin A have to boost collagen production, lift and firm the skin and have your skin looking plump and rosy. Now we use vitamin 
vitamin E to hydrate the skin, to just, you know, have the skin looking soft and supple. And here comes the one that is geared towards dark and the eye circles, and that is vitamin K. Years ago, you couldn't find vitamin K like that. You got to go eat up your dark green vegetables are all of the fruits and, you know, provision and stuff like that that have vitamin K. Nowadays, because technology is so advanced, you can actually go out there. You could get a cream that marked vitamin K, you know, so vitamin K is now common. And there are many, 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 many natural ingredients that contain vitamin K. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite to use for dark circles like overall favorite is the parsley leaf and the parsley is loaded with vitamin k and even when i start using the parsley on my under eyes i wasn't even aware of the vitamin k okay it's way after i was like wait a minute the parsley is loaded with vitamin k and it's on down one ingredient that i shared with everybody if you meet me on the street and you probably be like oh i have dark circle the first thing that would come to my mind is the parsley now think about it guys I have a video out where I mix that parsley with some Vaseline and that video is doing well because a lot of people have been using that remedy and coming back and just really really praising that mixture I mix the parsley leaf with a lot of other ingredients and some of them you can find in the playlist that I link below think about mixing that parsley put a little water in it and blend it, squeeze it out and put a little bit of a coconut oil in that. Use it under your eyes, amazing. Loaded, loaded, loaded with vitamin K. So the, that's the vitamin that you need to look out for. Is if you go out there and you're buying a serum for your dark on the eyes or you're buying a facial cream, look out for that big letter K, the vitamin K. That's what works for your on their eyes okay eat it hello eat it how are you i'm um, loving the three in one face wash exfoliate mask you recently create my skin is clear and bright there using it day and night thanks for sharing and you don't want to know what eat it i so love that one i have it in my bathroom it's like I definitely need to package this. No joke. It is really, really good. And guys, if you have not seen that video, you need to see that. I think hands down, no joke. That is one of the best, no joke, one of the best facial wash that I make, okay? The fact that you can use it for the mask, you can use it as a scrub, and you can just use it to wash your face. And the fact that it's dry, all you need to add to it when you're going to use it is some water. If you want to be adventurous, you can add some milk to it or you could add some green tea or, you know, play around with it. But all you need is water. Amazing. And guys, if you have not yet tried that one, you need to go and watch the video and make it just amazing thank you for mentioning it edith it is really 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 lovely 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 and most of you can just keep it in your bathroom it's you just got to watch the video if you missed it. I'm going to try to put the link below the video when I'm done with the show. Alex, which is best for a wrinkle and fine line? My under eyes is not dark or puffy. For wrinkles and fine line, the vitamin A. And vitamin A comes in the form of carrot seed oil. It comes in the form of rosehip oil. It comes in the form of cacao oil. And the new one that is really eating the mark is the Kamu Kamu, which I'm not yet introduce on my channel but for those of you who know about it then you know why not and and there's other oils that contains vitamin a so use those on your under eyes or your not under eyes use those for your wrinkles fine lines and for boots and collagen and also the good old green tea or matcha powder did you know you could actually make a matcha paste for your face and just blend it up with a little aloe vera gel and use it overnight rinse it off in the morning you'd be blown away at that result matcha powder blend it up and you could add other things to it just make it your own put it as an overnight mask and rinse in the morning mm, it's really good for the wrinkles really really good all right so Hello, Taryn. If you are talking about the name on the live, it automatically highlights the name. 
Um, what okay, so the reason why Lucy is highlighted on the live chat with that little spanner is because Lucy is the official narrate. Um, remind me what it is, Lucy. I just ooh. um, anyway, Lucy is assigned to block all of those nasty comments. She's assigned to, you know, probably repeat some of the stuff I'm saying. She's assigned to just basically um, take control of the live chat and make sure everything goes well. And that is why her name is, I, she's the moderator of the live chat. Okay. So that's why you're seeing the highlighted and that's why she's commenting giving you the recipe and basically repeating some of the stuff that i am saying so give lucy a thumbs up for being the moderator for the live chat we really 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 need the moderator for the chat guys because some people come on and get really crazy like really crazy so it's really a good thing and i thank you so much lucy for you know helping out all right so evelyn do you know for hair, yes, we have some wonderful hair remedy coming up on the chat. Guess what? If I did 45 minutes of the show without, you know, getting distracted after hearing all sorts that kind of crazy news, that it means that I'm doing well. Okay. So anyway, we have a lot of wonderful remedy on the channel page for hair, natural hair. We use like a lot of castor oil. We use like a lot of olive oil we use like a lot of almond oil we use aloe vera we use um egg yolk and stuff like that in those videos and those are good for bald spot dry scalp thin in here you name it so when you're done you could actually go and look on the channel page and i think i have a playlist with those videos in it you can go and watch it okay um um there the are drama or drama i think um the other day you told me that i need to exfoliate exactly how i do that and okay this seems like let me read the other day you told me that i need to exfoliate exactly how do i do that and what is the best product to use for my rapid drastically aging skin all right guys bear with me i need to answer her when I use the word exfoliate, we are actually talking about facial scrub, okay? Some people say facial scrub, but the process that you, when you use your facial scrub is exfoliating, meaning it taking up all of the dirt and grease from your skin. So I make a lot of facial scrub on this channel and the easiest one to make is with brown, brown rice brown sugar whoo anyway brown sugar okay so brown rice is good also you can get yourself some brown sugar if you have not seen any other video take a little bit of olive oil coconut oil just whatever oil that you have okay you're gonna take two tablespoons of brown sugar or white sugar if you don't have brown sugar one teaspoon of let's two tablespoon so one teaspoon of whatever oil you have, whether it's coconut oil, olive oil, you name it. You're going to mix those two together. And this is the simplest, the easiest, but the most effective facial scrub or exfoliator that you could find. Now, when you're done with mixing, you're going to go in your bathroom and you're going to wet your face. You don't have to, but you know. Since your skin is a little dry, you wet your face. You're going to take the sugar and oil in your hand, rub it like this, and rub it on your face all over. Don't let it get in your eyes. Rub it on your face, all over your face for about three minutes. Rinse off. And that is the easiest way to exfoliate your face. Now, once you do that, you're going to get adventurous. So you're going to go on my channel and on the page, and you're going to look for anything that I have with facial scrub are exfoliator amazing ones really amazing ones okay watch the video and do one that you have all the ingredient use that to exfoliate your skin do that to your face a neck and decollete at least two to three times a week at least two to three times a week after you finish doing that 
you are going to rinse your face and you're going to get into using some of those facial masks that I post on the channel, okay? Any one of your facial masks that I said that is anti-aging is good for your face. Watch the video, follow the way that I make it, and also the way I apply it to my skin. That you're going to do two times a week. No joke. Just try it. Just try it. So many people can be wrong that these things work, okay? And after that, you're going to use an oil on your skin. Whether you're going to use one of my oil blend or you're going to use just only vitamin E oil or only coconut oil or only olive oil, just get an oil, preferably an oil blend. But if not, just get an oil and you're going to use it on your skin a.m. and p.m. While you are applying the oil to your skin, you are actually going to massage the oil on your skin. So you're going to massage it in circular motion. And if you don't know how to massage, most of my videos at the end of it, I'll show you how to massage your skin or use an oil. Any one of those oil blend that I post on that video, it's going to show you how to massage on your skin. Do that for a week. I'm only giving you one week to start and come back next Sunday and tell me how your skin is feeling. Guarantee you guys and everyone on the chat is going to agree with me. I guarantee you that you're going to come back and say just one week and my skin is feeling and looking better. It's no joke. Okay. So just make this channel page a friend of yours. Click on it. Go on it. Search watch the videos and follow suit. That's all you need to do and give yourself a month and come back and tell us how amazing you are looking. No joke. Okay. All right. Pam, I see Vito. I'm trying to keep up. Love from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, the first time I hear about um, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, I was a pretty young kid, probably about six years old. Never forget. We used to watch the Oral Roberts show, right? So that was my first, you know, introduction to Oklahoma. So, and for those of you who run about my age, might know who I'm talking about. And yes, my email is chittybeauty at gmail.com. Thank you so much for that, Jill. And we also have uh, Moham. Yes, Chichi, your remedies are good. Thank you for that. Patricia, please pass on the message to Lucy. I sent two message. Okay, so okay, that I'm try. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any of the comments. All right, guys. So I actually have some recipe that I wrote here for you guys, but I think I already talked about them without even looking. I have milk, turmeric, and almond oil. That is three um, ingredients for dark circles. I also have green tea, coconut oil, and yogurt. That's another mix that you could do. And I also have the potato juice with vitamin C and fresh aloe vera gel. So I have three recipes. The first one is fresh milk, and you could substitute the milk for yogurt or um, for my vegan subscribers, use almond milk. Almond milk is just as good as using the regular milk when it comes on to the dark circles. So milk, turmeric powder or fresh turmeric and some almond oil. The second one is green tea or matcha powder with coconut oil and some yogurt. And you could also substitute the yogurt for every cream or even some buttermilk. And the third one is potato and that's the potato juice with aloe vera gel whether it's fresh aloe or store-bought and some vitamin e oil and the oil blend that i have for you guys is vitamin e oil mixed with some avocado oil and mix that vitamin e oil avocado oil almond oil and a bit of uh lemon oil so those are the mix for your dark on the eye circle so i hope you learned something from the remedies let me see if there's anything okay guys so i have some things to avoid avoid salt eat a lot of dark chocolate and um one more i didn't mention was mint leaves i'm just looking at my thing here mint leaves i didn't talk about mint leaves all right so that is all we have today for dark on the eye circles now i'm going to show you something here and take a look at this let me put a little on my hand i'm going to share this video with you guys tomorrow Remember I was talking about rice cream, what I make for my skin? This is what I'm using. And this is it. 
I'm just going to blend it out in my hands right here. Ooh. So if you want to see how I make this rice facial cream, it's an anti-aging. Look at that. Blend right out. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So guys, and it's natural, so I don't have any form of a fragrance in it. So here it is. This is my personal rice cream that I made and I've been using. And I'm trying to work on the video. I, I filmed it, making it. Hopefully, I'll share this video with you tomorrow. You don't, you people, you telling me how nice my skin has been looking. This is what I'm using. And I've been using this for over two weeks now. I made a fresh batch. And I filmed the video for you guys. Rice cream. No joke. Like, I know you guys. I just hope I make a good thumbnail because I'm lousy with the thumbnail. But the videos are good, right? I hope I make a good thumbnail for you guys tomorrow to see this. Look at my hands. I just use it on my hands. And look at that. Not even any residue. This video. Whoops. I just make a mess, guy. I basically pour out all my rice cream, which I will have to scoop back in. Really good. Like, look at that. Rice cream right there. And everything is going to blend out like that. So that video is coming up tomorrow. I think tomorrow. And let me see what else I have here. Ooh, this is a facial mask that is going to come up this week. And... Uh, Look at that. That's like in the form of a butter, but it's a facial mask. And you're just going to apply it to your skin like that. I'm not even going to tell you what is in this one, but it's a facial mask. And I made this full and I'm almost done with it. Mm, the video is going to be up this week. It's an anti-aging facial mask also. All right. So when I come on and I tell you guys I use this stuff, yes. So we're going to share that video with you probably um, Tuesday or so you're going to get this uh, video. But these two is like who amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. So stay tuned. If you're looking for for that person who was just mentioning about the wrinkles on the face, watch this video with the rice. It's easy. Everyone have access to rice. I definitely personally, I made this video with the white rice. The reason why I make it with the right white rice is because most of you have access to white rice. But my favorite way to make this is to use the purple rice, which I know a lot of you don't have access to. So you're going to use either black rice, purple rice, or white rice, whichever one you have to make this rice cream. You don't want to miss it. This is what I'm using on my face. After the holidays, I was looking so haggard. My skin was just like crazy. And this is what is really giving me this glow to my skin. No joke, no joke, no joke, no joke, no joke. You definitely don't want to miss this one. And this is the cream. And this is the mask. And the mask I just put on my skin, which you're going to leave on for like 30 minutes and then you rinse off. Some really interesting combination of ingredients. And I'm just going to wipe the mask off my hand right now. Uh, leave a little flin from my thing here. But it's really, really good. So the lineup of videos that is coming out this week, don't miss them. Don't miss them. Put your notification on. I am like back at work. I am like, you know, just, you know, like a brand new person making. And you guys know when I'm in a good mood and everything is good, you get good stuff and good stuff is coming up this week. These two, the rice cream and the facial mask, I'm not even telling you what is in this. You got to watch it, but guarantee is going to be something that you have access to. Easy, 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 but amazing. So stay tuned for those two. And I'm also going to try to make a, a facial massaging video this week. So many requests coming in for that video. So I'm just going to make sure I make it when I'm doing it for myself to make it be easier for me. Now I have a lineup of videos also for my vlog channel, which we're going to start the vlog channel posting three times a week and February 1st. So videos are already edited and just ready to go. So if you have not yet subscribed to the vlog channel, the link is below. Guys, I also do Instagram. If you're on Instagram, 
you know, just follow me on Instagram. Give me a shout out. Let me know you're coming from the Instagram page. What I'm going to do, which I was advised to do, is to go on my Instagram, leave some little tips on the Instagram page or go on the YouTube like now and leave some tips for you to go on the Instagram. And, you know, some people might be getting something if they could, you know, say they're coming from either or, or either. Another thing that we're planning on doing in February for the entire month of February, each video that we make, we are going to have a, a secret word. And the word of the day is going to be in the video. And the first person that actually um, come on the live show and give us the secret word, then we will compensate the, the like, just a little quiz, the winner for some little, you know, serum, something, something, something. So I'm actually looking forward to that. In that way, we will know who... Um, watch the videos right 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 just we're just trying to cut, um make everybody be like like a team like you know to make sure the instagram the facebook and the facebook guys we're posting on the facebook and we also have the facebook club which was like mm. and the honest truth one of the reasons why i like kind of stray from the facebook club was because we have a few people on the Facebook club that was just posting things that have nothing to do with the, um, nothing to do with, you know, the, 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 what the club is all about and they kind of overtake and I didn't know how to get them off. I tried to block, it didn't work. So I kind of ease it down, but we definitely going to do the Facebook club one more time. And the good news is that the live, we have a live show here on face on YouTube, but we're going to also have a live show every Sunday after this show on Facebook. So I'll keep you guys informed and let you know um, when it's starting all in February. So we're having a live show here and we're going to have a live show on Facebook. Totally different topic, but all in the line of skincare. Okay. So let's do a recap of the 10 ingredients, more than 10, but let's do a recap of the 10 ingredients that you can use to get rid of your dark on the eye circles, your eye bags, and your puffy eyes. And these are all natural ingredients. We, I'm going to talk about, put the parsley on the top of the list, even though we didn't start out with the parsley. So we have parsley, we have turmeric powder. We also have tomato, we have the potato, we have milk, which is like cold milk. We have rose water, we have cucumber, we have green tea, we have vitamin E oil, we have almond oil. We also have a vitamin K, we have coconut oil, we have lemon, and I'm way over. Another ingredient that I didn't talk about was coffee. Coffee is good for dark on the eye circuit because brew the coffee, put it in the fridge to chill, and definitely dip the pads in it, cover your eyes. You can also mix that coffee with some cucumber juice to get rid of the puffy eyelid. So there it is, guys. That's my show. Hello, Constant. You could watch it after. You said you miss it, but you could definitely watch it after, okay? So there it is, guys. The show is over. Thank you all for watching. And if this was your first time, you know, we don't normally start the show the way we did today. But, you know, you know, things happen. I love you guys. Go ahead and watch the video with that eye, dark circle, puffy eye remedy using the mayonnaise, guys. Go and watch it. If you don't have mayonnaise, you can actually get the egg, or break it, put it in the blender, put some olive oil or some coconut oil in it, and just blend it, and there you're going to get your mayonnaise, and you can use that as a base. Pretty easy, but the added ingredient, the combination of ingredients, it's amazing. Don't miss that video. Watch it as soon as the show is done, and come back. Use it for the week, and next week, come back and leave a comment. I love you guys, and look at my hand. Ooh, wow. Look at that. This is the one I didn't use. Well, I've been using it, so, but it's feeling really, really good. So you don't want to miss tomorrow video with the rice cream, nor do you want to miss, I think, choose that video with this facial mask. Amazing stuff coming up for you. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you all for watching. Jason and everyone that watched. Christine Faster, how are you? We didn't see Rita Ohms today. I hope she's doing well. 
And Rita, you are Miss, and we had some regular on the show we didn't see today. But I figured that with the overshadow of what happened with Kobe, I was like, oh, probably nobody's even going to be watching because, you know, everyone is just a little, you know, in, out of it. Taryn G, how are you? All right, guys, have a great week. Try something. Try a facial mask, a facial scrub, a facial serum, whichever is available to you with all the ingredients. Try it so that when we come, we could talk about it. Also, guys, watch Friday show coming. Friday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Time for Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. On that show, guys, you learn way more about the ingredient than you do on this show. So this show, you get remedy. That show, it's all about the ingredient, whether it is in your natural stuff or in your store-bought stuff. So you don't want to miss Sunday, um, let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Chris Chichi, I love you. Four in one green green spray, also. That's the green tea facial spray. Amazing, constant. Um, Ruby Mars, my notification is always on, but sometime like today, I got a late reminder, but determined to say okay. So I have a feeling when I send the notification out before an hour before the show people normally come in and like oh they get a late notification so i think i'll start to send the notification out like 45 minutes before the show i feel like people tend to get it because when i send it early it come out like way way early and some people don't get the reminder just when the show is gonna start okay so we'll see what we'll play around with when the notification goes out all right have a great week guys i love you guys love yourself love the people around you tell the people around you that you love them stop the fussing and fighting and just love your family, okay? Because as I said, you just never know, okay? You never know, guys. You never know. Say I love you, okay? Hug your children. Tell them you love them, all right? Have a great week, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.